and we could totally edit this out if you want. But I don't edit out. I mentioned to you that I had watched a YouTube video about you. Now, mm -hmm. when I told you this recently, I didn't. I hadn't actually watched the whole video at that point. I was like halfway through it. So then I finished watching it. And it got into some territory that you and I have never explored. And yes, sir. This is my life story. 702. I want to say thank you for all the love and support. Make sure you all hit that like button and subscribe button. Please stay tuned in for more up and coming videos. I want to say hit that cash app if you can at Jeremiah Leo 29. And let's keep it going, man. I appreciate all everybody that's been supporting the channel. And we out, yes, sir. And it's whatever you ask me, make sure it's respectful because you will get took off on on camera. Okay, well, I'm willing so to take that sure, risk. All right, make sure it's respectful. Don't ask me no weird, shit. don't ask me no weird, shit. don't ask me no gay, shit. whack, don't participate in weird, gay shit. under any circumstance. But that has been accused. Essentially, I'm never accused of nothing. Have you this spoken is, on this publicly? This is this is the world. People can say what they want to say until you sue them for slander or defamation of character, like I'm doing to Mark Stevens. Who's that? The guy that says that I'm gonna cooperate. Mm. So he said it. They got his dumb ass. Big, you didn't talk to him into doing some stupid ass shit, and he ain't even knowing that the people that called him. Right, was lining him up. So now you said it. So now it's simple. We're gonna go see who the whoever that crip cooperate was. And if it doesn't say it's me, he's gonna pay me. Now he's a civilian, so I could do him like that. The street dudes that do it, I can't do them like that. But a civilian, I'm gonna play a civilian game with a civilian. I've never played in any type of civil suit or any type of I ain't criminal on nobody, but civil, if you a civilian, I will tear your ass up. So this is the fact. Is are you planning on suing any women who have made statements about you? Nah, well, well, no, I can't because the only one that made a statement about me is a street bitch. So you gotta deal with that accordingly. So she's not trustworthy. She's a street bitch. She said I'll just throw a random thing that she said. She said that you played gay porn around her. Yeah, when she said that, I said, okay. I went back to the hotel and got the receipts. You know what You know what hotel receipts show you? Whatever you paid for, but, I mean, there's a lot of ways to obtain gay porn. You can probably watch it on your phone, right? No. Nah. She said it was watched at the hotel. Mm. She also said she flew on a jet four times, but I only seen the bitch once in life. Really? <laughs> she said all kind of shit. So it all started off when I exposed the bitch. I didn't want to deal with the bitch. So every three months, first she was like, well, I'm going to get him in trouble with his wife. Bitch, I'm a gangster. I can't get in trouble with no woman in life. So that's not the root of you going through some issues with your wife? No. Okay. I know my personal issues. Like, you know your personal issues. Oh, I got no issues. We good. Right? Everybody got personal <laughs> issues. But it's just on some real shit. The day I'm walking around here 40-something years old, like a third grader that got an F on his report card, is the day I might as well buy it out and submit as a man. This is just a fact. Mm -hmm. I wish the fuck I would. Right? That just don't work with me. Because it's just going to be whatever it's going to be. That's just life. I tell people, stop worrying about shit. It's going to be what it's going to be, whatever it is, and then you just figure it out from there. So when she seen that didn't work, then she added more to the story. Oh, he brought me this. Okay, well, show me the receipts. Oh, he took me here. Oh, I was in Europe then. Oh, he this. Oh, he that. Okay, well, let's talk about you just beat the shit out your motherfucking kids. This is why you mad. You beat these kids with Louis Vuitton belt buckle. In front of you? No, she was bad because she called me, and I said, bitch, why is you calling my phone? It's 1 o'clock in the morning. And she was live on Clubhouse, little tipsy. You met her on Clubhouse? She's the Clubhouse fine. Oh, Lord. Yeah, so she was live on Clubhouse, so, and she kept adding shit to the story. But every time she adds something to the story, 
I flew on the jet. Here go your receipt, $238. Bitch, you flew on Jet X. That's not a jet. You know the little bullshit <laughs> fucking shit? Yeah. JS, not even JSX. JSX, yeah. That's not a fucking jet. A jet is a tail number, and you and the people you want is on there, right? Uh-huh. So every time she came up with a story, I would I don't I don't argue lies. I just put it out there, right? Mm. But it get to a point to where I'm whack one hundred. This is real shit, nigga. I am the clout. I'm one of the hottest commodities on the motherfucking internet. Mm. If you could be a no name and say. I check whack 100 and people gonna watch it. It could be an elephant fucking a turtle. It's gonna get clicks because of the name. This is a fact, right? So, you know, what her mission was, just to say something to grab attention because she was trying to start a podcast, mm. right? It wasn't gonna work because it take me to respond. Only I'm not gonna respond to a lie. When people realize she was calling me her ex and only saw me once in her life. That's delusional, bro. Mm. I ain't brought you a candy bar, a cookie, McDonald's. I ain't. When you called me, told me your lights was getting cut off and you need, I told you 99 cent store got kennels. I ain't got nothing on the 99 cent. When you send me naked pictures of your pussy, I cussed you out, called you all out your fucking name. When I went to Reno, where you live at, and did a show, and you begged me to cut in my hotel room. I told you, you better not get caught in my lobby. Right? Get caught? Better not, you bitch, you better not come know where I'm at. Oh, okay. It's just a fact, right? So at the end of the day, you know, she she told me that she put me before God, and I thought she was really delusional. You saw me one time in life. I never spent the night with you. We ain't went to a movies. We ain't held hands. We ain't, what the fuck you mean you put me before God? At that point, I started to realize there's some delusional motherfuckers in this world. You know, everybody make a mistake with one of these rats. That's just one of my mistakes, my little four, five-minute mistakes. But at the end of the day, it ain't no big deal. You know, I'm still standing. She didn't have to move, go to jail, lost her job because she got off her game. She beat her kids, bro, and that felony fucked her up. I will say that I feel like if you were a zesty disciple, that we would probably have more evidence. We would probably, there would be other women hey, lining up to it's say real this. shit. Let's just keep it gangster. Right. Uh, when you first meet a person, we just speak it like just fucking common sense. Mm-hmm. Your first meet, unless you some crackhead, cokehead, uh, nympho, porn star, dope fiend motherfucker, liquor, alcoholic mo. Remember, I don't drink, smoke, nothing. Mm-hmm. Your first meet is very shallow. Right. I can't even spend a night with you, bitch, because I don't know if you're going to drop a pin while I'm sleeping. I'm really from the streets. Mm-hmm. So you're, it's very shallow. You got to think about that. How many times you seen me? One time. It, she even says she only spent one time with you? One. She flew in Friday, got here Friday about 2 o'clock. Saturday at 10 o'clock, she was out of here. But when she started to tell the lies, she forgot. One thing about our schedule, you can't just assume we're somewhere because we live there. Mm. Whoop, well, bitch, I was here. What you mean you was with me somewhere? And she's like, okay, no, it was once. She never brought me anything. He never did, never that, never this. Never that, never this, never that, never that. But he this, this, that. Okay, great. Call my man Steve Marcano. Yo, bro, go pull the receipts of the room. There's nothing on there. It looked like some room service. No movies, no nothing, no nothing, no nothing. Okay. That's a crucial lie on her part. If so, I mean, it's what it is. I mean, look, bro, I'm whack. I'm whack 100. You got to shoot real hard from the hip. People, you got to remember, people been praying for my downfall. Motherfucker said whack. People mad because they don't see you lose. I take losses all the time. Business is business. I just gain a lot. Uh-huh. Right? And I don't let them see me sweat. So it ain't that I don't take losses. He said, but people want to. They want to see you lose. They want to see you something happen with you. Why? Because the same people was begging me for me to do something with them. And when I tell them no, then that's what comes from it. Everybody I bump heads with was once a whack, a whack, a whack, a whack, whack, whack. And I don't want to. I don't want to fuck with it. Mm. And then it's fuck the whack campaign starts. Same with me. As soon as I'll have all these relationships, and then as <laughs> soon as it goes bad. 
they decide. It ain't even bad. I'm, I'm some sort of abuser. You just make it a decision to say you don't want to do something. And like 100% of the people who used to work with me or whatever that basically yeah. say bad things about me never had any experience that actually led them in that direction. But we did it in a world to where, like, there goes a man. Mark Stevens, I can book him. Mm -hmm. He got a little money, a little real estate. My financial people been digging. I could probably sue him for five million, get up out of there two, three million. And I'm a spanking just so he knows, Mark. Never allow nobody to persuade you against somebody that you was good with. You was just sending me pictures of your daughter. My daughter graduated, whack. My son this, 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 that. And all of a sudden, nowhere, you know. And, and, and the biggest problem with they circle is all of them call and tell me shit. I knew he was coming before he came because mm -hmm. a crip in a circle called and told me. Mm -hmm. I recorded him and all that, right? So I know he's coming, but I don't know why Mark would do this, but at the end of the day, he's going to pay for it. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to pay. You you square. They said, whack. Big, you didn't talk Mark into saying this about you in hopes that you get mad, threaten him, or go try to do something to him. And then because Mark's a civilian, he can file criminal charges trying to get you out of here. This what his crip part, and that's what he tells me. So I was, when he came, I never issued no threats. I just said, Mark, thanks for the defamation of character. I'm not going to threaten you. I'm not going to do anything criminal to you. I'm going to book you for your bag. Let's see if big you going to help you. Pay it. This is my final question. Is it gay for a man to have any sort of sexual encounter with his own booty hole? Gay as a motherfucker. Any penetration, wait, any penetration. So a man can get his asshole I licked. I hear people get talking about getting their asshole licked. I look at that as a nigga getting his nuts licked. I ain't going to call him gay. It's right there. It's right below the nuts. Yeah, I won't I won't call a man, because I hear people talking. But if you, any penetration, any objects, any of that, you're gay. Mm -hmm. Any penetration in your rectum, right, on the streets, I'm going to call this. I got to clean this shit up. Okay. On the streets, I'm going to call you that because... I come from the penitentiary. In the penitentiary life, you know, people got to do things and move things around, knives and mm. they drugs and shit. So that's just what that is, right? I wouldn't call them gay. Right? Yeah, that's Person. Me personally, I couldn't fuck with it. No matter what? No, nah, I wouldn't. If you went back to prison, you couldn't keep for a one, knife in your butt. For one, no. Nah, for okay. one, I'm just going to make sure it's where I need it to be or I'm going to have somebody else handle that. And I don't do the drugs anyway. So I don't, you know what I mean? But, you know, I know it's a way of life in there and, I won't say that about them. That's something different. But if you on the street, shoving shit up your ass, like I've been learning some crazy shit. Like they said they put like uh, these gerbils and hamsters and shit. Oh, wow. I haven't heard about that in a long yeah, time. Yeah, I, I was listening to some shit. They was talking about it in the room. They're like, I'd like, oh, they like a lot of older people do it or whatever, right? But, and like they squeeze them and they, they're alive till they die, right? Wait, till they die? I thought they just ran around in there. No, they, I guess they squeeze them till they die, some crazy shit. So it's a lot of way out shit. Listen, man, I will freak my woman, make love to my woman. But this shit that motherfuckers I be hearing about, you ain't tying me up, you ain't chaining me up, you ain't handcuffing me up, you ain't whooping me with nothing, you ain't doing nothing. You want to choke me a little bit, slap me up, whatever the fuck. All right, cool, do, do teach us something. Really? See, I'm not into that. Right. Don't try to control you're me, not, woman. You're not, you're not finna do, ain't finna be no, uh, what's this shit they call? Is it pegging or some pegging, shit? Pegging, you're anti-pegging. Yeah, we ain't doing no none of that. Listen, if you want to put your hands on my ass cheeks while I'm stroking you, and you want to grab the top of my ass cheeks and grip the top of my ass cheeks, you can do that. But what if she grabs a little harder, pulls you in, and then just, yeah! Nah, that's <laughs> not, that's not gonna happen. You know what? And women know who they can and can't do that shit with. Do they? Yeah, I believe they know. My girl tried it one time with me. When we first started seeing each other, within the first couple months, we had a night, we had a couple drinks, and uh, she throws me down, starts sucking my dick, and she tries to jam her finger in my ass. And she didn't use any kind of lube, any kind of spit. So you were just mad because she didn't lube it? I mean, it hurt. I felt, I, I felt like I had a little cut in my asshole. So you asshole. didn't have a problem with her doing it just because she didn't do it right. Honestly, I, in that moment, I didn't really have like a hard stance on whether I would let her put a finger in my ass or not. I'm still kind of curious about it, but. 
Curiosity killed the cat, bro. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm going to die from an anal you know fingering. No, I stuck my finger in my ass when I was 16. Wait, wait. In the you, shower. You did it? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. In the shower. One of my friends told me he did it, and he said it felt all right, so I tried it out. Yo, Soaked listen, it up. that's what a uh, um, washcloth. And, I'm not uh, kidding. I just, washcloth. I'm living my truth. Look, a washcloth. I just hit 40. Listen, a washcloth, soap. Right, and if you really want to just make sure you're real fresh, you can grab you some baby wipes. Keep everything right. You ain't got to stick your finger. Well, that's all on the surface. Yeah, that's it, bro. That's that's you just that's for just hygiene. Bro. I just wanted to see how it felt. Yeah, I see you curious, but that was so a long time ago. You're like, bi curious, like 24 year, years you're ago. You're bi, but look at you now. I'm not bisexual. You're Peter gazing. You saw that clip? No. That was the video. I just want to let y'all know I got more coming, more videos cooking. Let me know if y'all got any ideas in the comment section. Once again, please like, comment, and subscribe. Man, I really do appreciate all the love. Just the commenting and just the, you know, coming and watching my videos. That do mean a lot to me and my family. Once again, please hit that cash app. Uh, show love and support. If you want to become a member as well, I appreciate appreciate that too. So once again, man, this is my life story, 702, and we out. Yes, sir. Oh, you say you do. No, but a lot of people. I don't, wa <laughs> I don't watch men fuck women, bro. There's a, there's a TikTok or a I reel. I don't think you understand me. Of I Lena watch. and I, and we're judging a man's penis, and it's like right in front of us, and we're judging it and just commenting on it. And I, I just noticed earlier that it has like 8 million.